Hello and welcome to another episode of Car Lube. I've been having some problems with the charging system on my BMW M3 and today I've decided to go and get a new battery. So I'm going to be heading over to Euro Car Parts in Hoddesdon uh, to see my friend Nick. Um, hopefully he can sort me out with a new battery. Uh, I'm going to then be heading on to Monbray Motorsports. You might remember Monbray Motorsports from a previous video that I did. Um, he's going to hopefully, Paul's going to fit that for me and uh, what I'll do is I'll take the camera along, show you what happens and uh, hopefully by the end of today I'll have a car that's operating properly and uh, the stop starts working, all of that business. So how do you know when your battery's on its way out? Well I will tell you there's a couple of different stages that you'll definitely know that there's an issue with your battery. Um, the first one really is that your car, if it's enabled with stop start, that will stop functioning. Uh, that's not the rule because obviously sometimes if you don't use your car that often it takes a bit of time to put a bit of charge into the battery. But the second way really is that you, if you've got courtesy lights on your car, which might be the headlights um, and the door handle or underneath the mirror illuminating when you press the key fob to unlock the car, if they stop working that's a very good sign that there's not a lot of charge in the battery. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean your battery's knackered, it just means that you need to give it a good run and charge it up. The third way, uh, perhaps this is the most significant because this is when you realise that your battery really is low on charge. Uh, you'll get a notification on the iDrive which basically says battery discharge. You'll also get an emblem on the dashboard that has a picture of a car on a ramp and when you look at the faults through the iDrive it will tell you there's the battery low on charge so uh, at that point you might want to put it on a charger which is what I've done um, for months and months and months uh, but um, ultimately when you get an engine warning light come up because the battery is so low that the electrical systems are disabling sensors um, that's when you really know that the battery is past its best and you need to change it so that's what we're doing today so I'm going to head off now to uh, Hoddesdon to get the battery and I will see you when we get there okay I'm just looking for Euro car parts I know it's around here somewhere um, Okay, yeah, I see it. Let's get in the shop and get my battery. Okay, I've got the battery now, so on to Mumbrae Motorsports. Code this battery to what, what? What's that for? Code the battery so that the vehicle knows there's a new battery there, so it doesn't overcharge. Okay. So that your stop-start will work correctly. Okay. So obviously your vehicle will still think that it's got the old battery because it's got smart charging. Okay. Which means on these cars, on when the battery gets to a certain voltage, the alternator will cut out, uh, cuts out on full throttle, so that you get maximum engine power. 
Then we just need now to tell the car it's got the new battery, and then we're good to go. Why does that differ compared to the old batteries in older cars? What do you think it needs registering? The older batteries didn't have smart charging. Uh, the older cars, like the 2004 vehicles, say, wouldn't have smart charging, so you've got, you're running the alternator all the time, basically that. So do you think they used to overcharge? Yeah, that's why alternators last a lot longer now on vehicles, because they, they only charge when they need to. Batteries last quite a bit longer than they used to years ago. I think we got five years out of that last battery we just taken out. It's not too bad, then, is it? Because you've got, you've got a stop-start system where batteries are getting a bit more of a canyon than they would normally. So thank you to Paul for completing the job on my car today. Uh, I've just driven to the end of the road and the stop start has engaged almost immediately. So that's obviously working fine. So very happy with that. I'm just gonna drive home now and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It was a bit slapdash because I actually had some monumental camera issues halfway through and had to refilm a couple of the bits and pieces that I've actually done on this video. So um, yeah, not ideal really. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. And as always, please subscribe. My channel can only get better with more support. So goodbye guys. The only problem with it, I'll show you. Oh. Yeah, the only problem is with me the color. Yeah, not a fan of green. No, no. It's got to be bright green. Red looks lovely. Yeah. It does really look lovely. And this bumper as well, here we go. You've not done the most horrible job, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you as a compliment, right. James. Just take no, it as a compliment. I'll tell you what, a little bit of a flat in the polish. I, I wouldn't know.